Seniors, I hope you are wearing your cap and gowns, looking fabulous and fly, and that your tassels are hanging to the right as you are ready to celebrate your class. As we begin, please stand and place your right hand over your heart as we join together for the National Anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance, led by several members of the graduating class. Oh, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. For which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening and welcome to the Milwaukee Marshall Class of 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. My name is Montreal Kane and I'm a proud MPS alumni. I currently serve as the broadcast and multimedia consultant as well as an instructor at Milwaukee Marshall. Tonight, I am honored to be your master of ceremonies. We acknowledge those who have suffered and have been impacted by the pandemic we are all facing. For those of you who are essential workers, risking their health and lives for the rest of us, for the sick, the hospitalized, and for those we have lost, let us honor them with a moment of silence. Thank you. You may now be seated. Now I'd like to introduce you to our next speaker, Principal Barry Applewhite. Mr. Applewhite has been a proud leader of the Eagles Nation for the past three years. Since arriving at Marshall along with a team of new administrators, Marshall has grown from 740 students in 2013 to just over 1,150 students this year. His visionary leadership has propelled Marshall as a destination school on the northwest side of Milwaukee. A school where students thrive in an environment where relationships are the cornerstone of learning and curriculum is focused on science, technology, engineering, and arts. Marshall features 10 sections of advanced placement courses and 8 sections of Project Lead the Way and Computer Science courses. Marshall is proud to accept all students and offer these deserving students the opportunity to participate in the challenging curriculum which prepares them for the life in a global technology world. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, get excited for some compelling words from our visionary leader, Mr. Barry Applewhite. Thank you, Mr. Kane. Welcome to our families, educators, special guests, and guests of honor. In the class of 2020, special thank you to our keynote speaker. It is also important to remember that it takes a team of dedicated staff and students to help our Milwaukee Marshall Eagles soar. I'd like to give a special shout out to the Golden Eagles that are going into retirement. Shout out to Ms. Ferguson, Mr. Norton, and Ms. Beckman. 
Thank you for your dedication and commitment to Milwaukee Public Schools, and most importantly, to the students of Milwaukee Marshall. As it takes a whole team to build our success, we must also give it up for all of our teachers, our safety teams, our safeties, support staff, engineers, and our administrative team, Ms. Simpson, Dr. Gilliam, Mrs. Smith, and Mr. Howell. Our vision for the students of Milwaukee Marshall High School is to engage, inspire, and challenge our school community to be innovative citizens in a complex, interconnected, and changing world. I am going to miss this class of 2020. This class has persevered, worked hard, and stayed committed to your goals of graduating. It is very unfortunate that your year was interrupted by this COVID-19 because you were robbed of so many experiences. Words cannot express how deeply saddened we are for and with you. I hope that someday we will be able to make it up to you. It is not okay that you are missing your prom, a traditional graduation, and all the activities throughout the year that make your senior year memorable. I know that with your many gifts and talents, you will overcome this major setback in your life. It is an honor for me to stand before you today as your principal. Even with the interruptions, we had a great time this year, filled with ups and downs. Nothing will be able to top the emotion that we all shared by winning the playoffs against the crosstown rivals, Rufus King. When they said, we will not win, we won. When everyone in the stadium was against us, we had each other's back. We showed up and we showed out. I must take a quote that was entered by one of our fellow students, Ryan Lindstad. You can watch me, mock me, block me, but you cannot stop me. And that was by Jordan Belfort. No matter what virus comes before us, you will always be in our hearts. You are Marshall forever, Eagle Nation. I was listening to a song called Be Blessed that was written by Yolanda Adams, and I thought about you. Class of 2020, your year was abruptly interrupted. Too many storms have passed your way. You are feeling all washed out because it rained on your parade. Sometimes it seems that nobody cares about you anyway. Now you're living your life like castaways, but I want to search for strength inside and ask yourself, was it all in vain? Because the deeper you dig, you'll find more and more pain. Don't let your tomorrow be like yesterday because you have the power to sustain. I will always continue to keep you in my thoughts and prayers. I just ask that you will always be strengthened, encouraged, and that you will persevere through these troubling times. Most importantly, I want you to be blessed and do not live life in distress. You continue to make progress and be the front runner in taking advantage of the things that our district offers. I am so proud of all of our students that participate in athletic programs, Project Lead the Way and Marquette Co-op programs. Rihanna, Nia, and Quentin, your efforts to get a head start in college did not go unnoticed. Your participation in MQ and taking college courses this year is what exemplifies the expectations of what we want from our Marshall Eagles. Graduating class of 2020, you did not let some of the pitfalls that you may have encountered during the course of the year become an obstacle that you could not overcome. As our colleague Herman Ross pointed out in his senior quote, the L's that you took would have broke me, but you just brushed them off. Marshall Eagles, you persevered. Over 90% of you submitted college applications and were accepted into one or more of your choices. We were number three in the district in football, and did I mention that we beat Rufus King in the playoffs? Number one in conference for the Ladies Eagle, Lady Eagles basketball team. And most importantly, we have continued to improve our graduation rate year after year. Let's give it up for our super counseling team, college and career readiness, and college possible teams. To round off our support for you, we have also given a shout out to Mr. Duncan, Ms. Simpson, Ms. Ramirez, Ms. Higgins, and Ms. Jackson for taking you on some of the field trips and keeping you well fed. I must say that you all have embraced the courage to follow your hearts and your intuition. Where many have said no, or I, I'll give up, you have said yes, I will not give up. We all had a chance to witness the greatness in you. By all accounts, I believe that you gave us a glimpse of your tremendously bright future. If you believe it, you will achieve it. Just continue to be on time, on task, and on a mission. You are graduating from high school, but you are commencing into the next chapter of your life. Class of 2020, 
You are ready to take on the world, and I cannot wait to see what you will become. Remember that you would not be successful if we did not have the support of the home team, your parents. Let's give them a shout out as well. The work that you have done in order to continue building Eagle Nation will not be forgotten. Your willingness to trust the educational process has assisted us in building a structure of achievement that has set high standards. The millions of dollars in initial scholarship monies that have been acquired by this class continues to raise the bar for future graduates. Our traditions of winning the big game and becoming better at what we do is evident. We know that it is through hard work that we become great. You will continue to be the beacon of hope that will resonate in the halls of Milwaukee Marshall forever. Eagle Nation is never too far away, and Eagle Nation is your best kept secret place. Next, I'd like to introduce to you the superintendent of Milwaukee Public Schools, Dr. Keith Posner. Hello, Milwaukee Public Schools Class of 2020. I'm Dr. Keith P. Posley, the proud superintendent of Milwaukee Public Schools, and I'm delighted to share a message with you as we participate in this special occasion. None of us would have ever guessed that we would be in this unique position today, a virtual graduation. No other class of students have been faced with a situation that this group of young people endured. You have been faced with completing your K-12 education during an unprecedented times. Even though you have experienced an abrupt school closure during the final year, I congratulate you for having the courage and fortitude to finish strong. But because of this unusual circumstance, you and your classmates are truly a special class. Your ability to stand tall during the changes and your drive to complete your education is commendable. The class of 2020 is more resilient, talented, and resourceful and more prepared than other high school class for enduring this public health crisis. I am confident and inspired by the way you all have leaned in and advocated. You all have called me, emailed me, as well as other members of the district. So that shows me that you have courage and know how to speak up for yourself. Remember that the education that you have received cannot be taken away from you. It will only open doors. The world is ready for you. You will make a difference creating a strong future. As you move forward confidently in the next steps of your journey, I want to encourage you to never forget your years as an MPS student, as an MPS graduate, and to share your gifts with others and remain lifelong learners. Embrace your learning and continue to move forward with your studies. To our parents, guardians, family members, friends, community members, special guests, and staff, thank you for standing with our young people, supporting them and never giving up on them along this journey. As the superintendent of the Milwaukee Public Schools, I am proud of your accomplishments. I celebrate your college acceptance, scholarship awards, military acceptance, and post-secondary career offers. Congratulations, graduates. We're expecting great things from you. Stay positive during these challenging times. Even though this is your last chapter in high school, you will always be the first. You make me truly MPS proud. I salute the class of 2020. Our valedictorian David Olentuji has received 3.738 cumulative GPA and is an amazing student, athlete, and person as well. David has completed four AP courses during his senior year, earning a 4.25 semester GPA during his first semester of his senior year. 
David is a varsity soccer player, member of College Possible, and has been a dedicated and responsible member of the Marshall family since last year. Please welcome our next speaker, David Olentuji, followed by Malik Hamilton. Greetings, classmates, friends, friends, staff, and district leadership. I'm David Olentuji. It is a great honor to be here as the valedictorian of the Milwaukee Marshall Class of 2020. I am delighted to see us all complete our high school journey. All of our hard work has paid off. Before I begin, I would like to appreciate the support of our families, teachers, and advisors for inspiring and supporting us as we completed our coursework. Learn to be positive members of our school community, struggle with our challenges, and make decisions about college and life after high school. I would like to acknowledge Mr. Summers for his support on the field and in the classroom. We also like to give thanks to Mr. Duncan for challenging me to be better and also Mr. Cunningham for his support throughout my years of Marshall. During these past years, I learned that success is accomplishing a goal through hard work, commitment, diligence, and constant pursuit. Yet, the pursuit of success during early at graduation, we should all aim to achieve more. Though some of us might feel afraid because we don't know what the future holds for us, we shouldn't fear the future because we are the best author of our own future. Today may mark the end of a chapter in our lives, but another chapter unfolds soon. I want us all to look forward to it and make our dreams come true, because every great dream begins with a dreamer. I wish us all sources and greatness in life. This might seem like the end for some of us, but this end graduation is actually our beginning. Congratulations, class of 2020. It's time for another Student Athlete of the Week. I'm Lance Allen. This young man has a real joy about him. He has perfect grades, but loves the awards his football team earned this season. He's Malik Hamilton. Malik, I don't think you're going to give up that trophy, are you? No, I ain't giving it up. <laughs> <laughs> when we first met Malik Hamilton, his Milwaukee Marshall Eagles football team had just earned Team of the Week honors. Give me three! Fight, fight, fight. Man, I can't believe I won a king. <laughs> Hamilton has earned the prime time, sporting a perfect 4.0 grade point average and honors away from the classroom as well. So what made you the valedictorian? Um, uh, a good start from my freshman year all the way. My freshman year really, you know, set me through. I can't believe I'm doing an interview right now. It's crazy. <laughs> His coaches and teammates can't respect him enough. It takes a really, really dedication on, on and off the field. Um, that guy works hard in the classroom. Um, he also helps out some of the, our other players also. Uh, he's a special athlete. He's definitely the, the definition of a student athlete. Uh, he works hard on the field, and he's been a leader, started for us for three years. Malik, yeah, he's one of our, our, one of our, leader, our senior leaders because he goes hard in practice every day too, and that, that game-winning pick, man, it saved our lives, man. We really need that from him. And Malik says it all starts at home. My parents have been knowing me since my first year, so yeah. I mean, having them on my side, having my teammates and my coaches all on my side, yeah, being keeping me focused and stuff in the classroom. Right How do you get perfect grades and be a good athlete? Dedication, right there. That's just dedication, right there. So I'm gonna say, dedication. And, and hard work? I mean, do you make sure that you balance the books with what you do course, on the football? Of course, of course. Uh, it's just time management. Time management is a big thing. Malik says after Milwaukee Marshall, he's thinking about Minnesota and a couple of Division II colleges to advance his football career. He has a wide range of interests and wants to explore those interests in several subjects like science and math before picking a major. With this week's student athlete, I'm Lance Allen. I would like to thank all the staff for help keep me motivated. It's easy to believe in the typical senior hiccup we all know as senior writers. Thank you all for bearing with me. Some of y'all have been holding me down since I was probably in sixth grade. So this nine year journey, it was, Remarkable. I want to thank all the staff for helping me stay motivated, whether you were a teacher, a janitor, um, a coach, um, or just a, a mentor in the building. All you guys really had a role in helping my senior year play out the way it should have. Some of y'all have been like another parent to me, like taking me under y'all wing the way y'all did. Like, I, I can't even repay y'all for that. I'm Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes, and I just want to take a moment to congratulate you on all your hard work that's gotten you to this momentous day. 
Now, I know this isn't the high school graduation ceremony that any of you envisioned as you studied hard for your exams, stayed up late working on projects, and dedicated your time and energy to extracurriculars and enriching your community. But that doesn't mean that your efforts are any less worthy of recognition. In fact, this virtual ceremony demonstrates just how much all of you had to go through to get here today and how much you deserve this honor. We all know that graduating from high school can already be a challenge and all you had to do it during a literal pandemic. Having to miss your prom, your final seasons of sports, your last band and choir concerts, these are important moments that none of you should have had to sacrifice. Not to mention the daily challenges of staying home and not being able to see your friends or having to share screens with your siblings or your parents for school. And I know that some of you had to face even more serious troubles as a result of the pandemic's impact on our healthcare system and on our economy. You all have had to grow up much faster than any other generation. But with each day you stayed home, you've endured these challenges. You haven't just kept your family and your community safer, you've become stronger and more resilient too. And as an NPS graduate and a Milwaukee native, you've made me incredibly proud to represent you and to represent our entire community. You all are doing your part to get us out of this crisis and getting us to a time where we can all hang out with each other once again in person or go out to eat at our favorite restaurants and hug our grandparents and all the others you've had to remain physically distant from. So congratulations once again, seniors. After all you've been through in the last couple months, I know you'll be able to take on any challenge that comes your way. And I look forward to witnessing the change that you all bring as you continue to shape our future. Thank you so much and congratulations. Hi, my name is Dr. Jeanette Kowalik, and I am the Commissioner of Health for the City of Milwaukee. I'm also an NPS graduate. I graduated from John Marshall High School in 1997. So um, I want to just thank you all for uh, just the continued support. Again, thank you for the opportunity uh, for uh, being here and to be able to just acknowledge all the great work that has happened. Uh, Class of 2020, you definitely are the true MVPs. Uh, you are um, definitely representing a time period where the world has really, really paused and some people would say fallen apart. But because of the time period that we're in, this is an opportunity for you all to lead and to really uh, change how we're moving through society. This is a very important time. Uh, with that being said, I just want to give you a couple of points of inspiration uh, moving forward from this point in time. So first of all, please realize that you're graduating during a pandemic is a sign of greatness, tenacity, and courage. Uh, for you all to have to go through this and you're still able to maintain, you're holding your head high, and you're using uh, technology to uh, do creative things, to still uh, com communicate with other people, as well as really make a name for yourself and figure it out. So the next is time away. So sometimes you need time away from the distractions of regular life. So kicking it, going out, um, actually going to class, what are you gonna wear? How are you presenting yourself? There's a lot that goes into being out and about. During this pandemic, uh, since there's no school, you've had the ability to learn from home but it also gives you the time to be still and really figure out who you are and how do you want to present yourself. So that reflection time is very valuable. Most people don't have that. Most people are living someone else's life, living other people's expectations for them, whether it's their family, whether it's their community, um, other social groups, church, you name it. So figuring out who are you and what is your authentic expression of who you are and doing that now. So again, using this pandemic time to really figure out who you are and how you want to express yourself and what type of career you want to have for yourself. What brings you joy? What sparks that, that passion in you? And then pursue that. Whatever sparks joy in you, uh, that follow that. That's a sign that you're, you're getting closer to where you need to be in life. Again, look for opportunities to lead, even if it's in your household, if it's in your community, when you see a problem needs to be fixed, it's easy to gripe and complain about it, but what are you doing to make it better? You know, How can you say, I help fix that problem? Really think about that in your approach and how you're investing energy in the various situations. So in closing, I just want to, again, acknowledge you all for 
uh, graduating during a pandemic and you will be, the, you are the chosen ones. You are the true MVPs. And the rest of us will continue to support you because remember, we're starting a new decade. So you're gonna change the tide of how things are done for years to come. So again, congratulations. And thank you for the opportunity to address the class of 2020. MPS graduating class of 2020. It is truly an honor for me to be here today speaking to you. Uh, I know it's not necessarily how you thought your graduation would look or what you dreamed it up to be, but that doesn't take anything away from what you've accomplished. You should be extremely proud of that diploma that you're holding in your hand, virtual or not, you have earned it and nobody can take that away from you. Uh, it's a thrill for me to be here. I grew up just down the road in Pewaukee, Wisconsin, and uh, I spent many a days at County Stadium watching the Brewers play, at the Bradley Center watching the Bucks and the Admirals play. Uh, and I'm sure many of you right now are looking at me like, what's County Stadium? Uh, which makes me feel very old, but uh, it's a great place that the Brewers used to play and Bernie used to slide down into a massive keg of beer. Um, that's neither here nor there. That's just me going down memory lane. And I'm sure your parents know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyways, back to why I'm here today. I'm here to celebrate you guys. I'm here to celebrate your graduation, everything that you've accomplished, and also hopefully give you a bit of advice as you head into the next chapter of your life. And I'm not here to take up too much of your time. I know that you've had Zoom meetings, Zoom classes, Zoom everything uh, for the last few months. So the last thing you wanna do is sit here and listen to me talk, but I'm gonna try and hopefully give you a little bit of advice that can help you as you move on. Uh, you've just accomplished something great. You, you've gone through the whole school system, you went and graduated high school, and you've done something to make yourself and your families extremely proud. Don't move on to the next step without taking a second to acknowledge that. Pat yourself on the back a little bit and be proud of yourself. You've just done something great. You should take a second to be proud of that. And then once you're done with that, whether it's tonight, tomorrow, or the next day, ask yourself what's next. Maybe you're headed off to college. Maybe you're headed off into the workforce. Whatever it may be, you're headed into a brand new chapter of your life. And the most beautiful part about that is you get to decide what that chapter looks like. You're the person holding the pen that's going to write your story in that next four or five years. What does that look like for you? How are you going to make it as great as you can possibly make it? Ever since high school, I've had a motto that I've lived my life by. Dream big, work hard. My parents have always tried to instill in me that you can do anything you want in this world as long as you have big enough dreams and you're willing to put in the time, effort, and energy to make those dreams a reality. Um, that's what I encourage you guys to do as you head into that next chapter. I encourage you to have big dreams. Whatever you want to do, whether it's sports, whether you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, whether you want to be a teacher, whether you want to inspire the next generation, whether you want to do charitable work, whatever it is that you want to do, I encourage you to dream as big as you can possibly dream. Don't ever let anybody tell you that your dreams are not realistic. When I was in middle school, we had to write a paper on what we wanted to be when we were growing up. I wrote, I want to be an NFL player. The teacher wrote back that my paper was good, but asked me to maybe create some more realistic dreams. Well, I am in the NFL, so that came true. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to go on to be an NFL player or whatever it is, but I want you to believe in yourself that much and I want you to have dreams that big because the only way you can accomplish them is if at first you think of them and you believe in them. The second part of accomplishing those big dreams is the hard work. You have to be willing to put in the time, the effort. You have to be willing to make the sacrifices. You can do great things, but it's going to be hard. Nobody ever said it's going to be easy and I'm definitely not here to tell you it's going to be easy. Whatever your goal is, whatever you want to be, whatever you want to accomplish, you're going to have to put in a lot of time, effort, and energy. You know, the old saying, nothing worth having comes easy. It's true. I mean, it's just a fact. You have to go out there and you have to do the work. And you have a chance. You have your whole life in front of you. You just graduated from high school and you can literally go out into the world and become whoever you want to be. It's a beautiful place to be. I'm excited for you. I'm jealous of you. You're sitting in an incredible position. And I'm just, I'm, you can sense the excitement. I'm giddy for you because I'm excited to see what you're gonna go out there and accomplish in this world. And I know your families are just as excited. Your friends are there to help you, support you, and push you in the right direction. And I guess that would be my last message to you as well. Help each other out. Push each other to be even better 
than you are now because nobody can do it alone. It's going to take many people to make your dreams come true. And the more people you have supporting you, believing in you and pushing you, the better off you're going to be. You guys have just accomplished something great and you're off to do even greater things in the future. I thank you for letting me speak to you today and I cannot wait to see what you accomplish in the future. So take a second, be proud, enjoy it, take it all in, and then ask yourself, what's next? What's up everybody, it's Gavon Looney here from the Gold State Warriors and Helmsley High School alumni. First of all, I just wanna congratulate the class of 2020 for doing something special. You know, during these tough times where guys got, people gotta stay at home, you guys gotta learn online and, and can't be around your friends every day and, and um, it just not be able to be at school all the time. It's been tough on everybody, but you guys did something special by graduating. You know, this is a moment that you will remember for the rest of your life. Uh, I want you to, to, to celebrate today and, and enjoy this moment, you know, talk to your friends, talk to your teachers, enjoy all the things and go down memory lane and, and just treat this day really special, you know. Uh, I remember my high school graduation is one of the biggest accomplishments of my life, something I worked all my life for, my parents are really proud of, and you know, uh, it was really special to me. And I had a lot of opportunities to go to different schools out of state and do a lot of different things, but it was big for me to be able to walk across stage and, and be part of an MPS graduation and have my parents be there and have my family be there and be able to celebrate something special. So I just want to, uh, again, congratulate this class of 2020 for doing something amazing and uh, you know, enjoy this moment. You know. I know uh, you guys are probably worried about what's next, you know, where you're gonna go to college and what's what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. But take today, take this moment to celebrate, thank your teachers, thank your, your parents, and uh, and just enjoy this moment. You know, I can't say that enough that this is gonna be probably the, one of your best memories of your life. You know, when you go, when you get older and you're gonna be talking about the things you used to do in high school and all the friends you had, all the, the, the classes you had, all the lunch period times, uh, all those talks with your friends that, you know, that's gonna last a lifetime. You know, uh, enjoy this, enjoy your, enjoy the company, your fellow classmates. Y'all did this together. You know, a special group of people, and I, I know you guys are gonna be the next leaders of, of, of the world. So, you know, enjoy your day, and um, stay safe out here. You know, it's tough times for everybody, but you guys are, are the next leaders of this world, and I just wanna continue to congratulate you guys on being great. And 2020, you guys did. It. Good evening, I am Ms. Cunningham, and I will be reading the graduates with the last name starting with A through G. Kenneth Atkins. Amarion Allen. Robert Anderson. Amaya Armstrong. Ariana Armstrong. Aomide Aro. Mario Atkins. Subi Aziz. Quentin Valentine. Alindia Beeman. Yaquan Beeman. Mitchell Beard. Destiny Bell. J. Bell, Laurentia K. Bell Anderson, Uriel Berry, Jasmine Bickle, Jalayla Blue, Javion Belter, LeBaron Bogan, Mirage Bostic, Danielle Bowie, Chandre Brister, Amaya Brown, Michaela Brown, Shante Brown, Cavante Brown, Zaria Brown. Kanaya Brunson, Alana Bullock, Erica Bundy, Arnell Carter, 
Charisma Carter. Traviante Chairs. Joya Clark. Martel Colbert. Quincy Colbert. Khalid Colbert. Deanna Coleman. Marvell Coleman. Cache Coleman. Maceo Cook. Taylor Cooper, Ty Copening, Aaron Kovaleski, Monet Crump, Tykeria Daniel, Leah Davis, Rayshawn Davis, Zenobia. Davis, Kayla Dawson, Deshaun Day, Jessica Dent, Aaliyah Dickinson. Jalissa Dismuke. Nathan Dugar. Delvon Edwards. Dominique Edwards. Josiah Ellis. Qdonis Elmore. Angel Ingle, Jakari Evans, Bashanti Evans, Octavia Evans, Dejan Fails, Sean Fears. Justin Fields, Destiny Fisher, Shanice Fowler Stewart, Christopher Fox, Keyshawn Freeman, James Gaines. Serena Gatlin, Adam Gibbs, Quintiana Gill, Jakaria Gibson, Sean Mir Glover, McKaylin Goings. Destiny Gooden, Miracle Gooden, Kendra Gordon, Jakea Grant, Amir Gray, Shama Keithius Greer. Princess Greer, Duquan Gregory, Samaje Griffin, and Jalen Gross. Good evening. I am Miss C, and I will be reading graduates with last names starting with H through O. Kamaya Hall. Malik Hamilton, Dejanay Harris, Robert Harris, 
Marjorie Harris. Detavion Hawthorne. Shaylin Hayes. Joseph Hugh. Wesley Higgins. Brandon Hodges Lapointe. Tatiana Holloway. Antasia Hoskins. Latrell Howard. Teriana Hewlett. Brianna Hurt. Lania Jackson. Tamaya Jackson. Tyrone Jackson Jr. Isaiah Jasper. Jabbar Jenkins. Savannah Jenkins. Ambria Johnson. Naraya Johnson. Naomi Johnson. Jalen Johnson Strong. Brittany Joyner. Aaliyah Jones. Cameron Jones. Shakariana Jones. Deontay Jones. Kara Jones. Tajeta Jones. India Kent Beersdorf. Alina Key. LeBron's Lee. Amina Lewis. Trayana Lewis. Taylone Lee. Tyrell Liddell. Ryan Lindstadt. Savannah Lloyd. Nancy Lore. Michelle Lore. Daniel Lucas. Jaden Mallet. Anaya Malone. Ariane Martin. Jasmine Mason. Raven McClinton. Janari McGee. Diara McKay Miller. Marshawn McNeil. Makaya Miller. Unisha Myers. Sharicia Nash Tucker. Kaya Neal. Ranita Neal. Omar Neal. Kayla Nelson. Tayshawn O'Kelly King. David Olatunji and Demetrius Ozier. Good evening, I'm Ms. Thuman and I will be reading graduates with last names starting with P through Z. Makaija Page. Willie Parchment. Nyla Patterson. Brandon Pearson. Kaperia Pendleton. 
Elijah Perkins. Destiny Person. DeShale Pointer. Joshua Power Mohammed. Jashe Price. Joshua Pugh. Nakaya Queen. Aaron Raglan. Eddie Reese Windham. Shantaria Richardson. Michaela Rosenthal. Herman Ross. Madrela Rucker. Derek Russell. Ike Olua Sadiq. Trinity Salas. Dwayne Sanders. Nia Sanford. Amanda Scott. Kalia Summons. Nyjah Shai. Ariana Simmons. Maurice Sloan. Amanda Smith. Azariah Smith. Jabrina Smith. Your Majesty Smith. Rihanna Smith. Tony Smith. Omar Smith. Gianni Smith Harris. Naya Smith Jenkins. Cordell Spence Luckett. Cameron Spivey. Devon Stanford. Michaela Stewart. Mikkel Stokes. Teresa Stokes. Kawana Stubblefield. Quinn Templar. Andresha Thomas. Ariana Thomas. Antoine Thompson. Joseph Torsavia. Dantrez Tulak. Daniel Turner. Darrell Tyler. Victoria Yunaka. Dariana Underwood. Devin Valo Wolf. Lily Fain. Na Fain. Daviante Beasley. Zarian Waits. Ariana Walker. Deja Walker. Eris Walker. Jamari Washington. Paige Washington. Javian Wesley Carter. Deja West Whitehead. Ariel Williams. Don Quez Williams. Jativa Williams. 
star unique williams taishana williams olivia williams pepper ayana williamson kishan willis Tareen Winston, Tyler Y. Warford, Shakira Word, Zania Worthy, Tajane Wrencher, Derek Wright, Lou Jean. Romeo Yang, Naya Young. Congratulations. Graduates of Milwaukee Marshall High School, turn your tassels from the right side to the left side. By the authority vested in me by the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, the Milwaukee Board of School Directors, and by the Superintendent of Milwaukee Public Schools, I now declare you official graduates of Milwaukee Public Schools. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the new alumni of Milwaukee Marshall High School, class of 2020. Thank you everyone for joining us here tonight. Graduates, we wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors and remind you that you will always be alumni of the Milwaukee Marshall Class of 2020. Represent the Eagle Nation proudly. And when you achieve your greatness, remember to return to your alma mater to share with tomorrow's students all the lessons of success that you have learned. Be well and congratulations, Marshall family. We wish you a safe celebration and that your lives be filled with good health, positive energy, and happiness. And as always, achieve possible because you can.